Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> wow. Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. <laughs> Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. God, John, you need to get some sun. <laughs> I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, 
<laughs> I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. <laughs> Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Nice looking place. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Oh dear. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fillers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Yeah, we're going to go buy a barn now. I can't move like I used to. Oh, no, shut up, bit. uncle. God. You and your bullshit lumbago. In the black water. Let's go. I have yep. a bad feeling about this. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. 
Maybe that one. Yeah. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, I hope. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing up. You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Oh, fuck off. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. 
Well, you did a good job. This is where the fun begins. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas! We want our friend back! You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools! One! Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let him have it, boys! Still Lumos! Hold the jailhouse! My boys are coming! jail apart he's gone he's gone uh, well we brought him in now pay us what's owed he ain't here now madam i don't get paid unless he makes it to san denis you want to get shot today as well as rob mister are you threatening me why would we bother threatening you get him back and i'll get your money and another fifty dollars besides a hundred dollars seventy five i can't go higher Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Really dumb alias to use, honestly. Name yourself after the agent that Where are we gonna find him? chased you. He guys. said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you and you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face he got stole off both of us someone must have talked Ugh, one of his boys maybe we were sitting ducks waiting all that time in that gym crack jailhouse yeah yes we were i don't like it the sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the grays and braithwaites but clearly he ain't done enough so you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. 
I hope that rationale works out for all of us. <sighs> Why not just scam the guy, take the money, Hold and then up. capture Down him? There. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Where?
Oh. That was the target. Okay. Catch him. Come on, give me my damn gun. Just where's my Ah oh, shit, I'm out of alcohol. Hey. Son of a bitch. So back to what I was saying. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well. No, clear. I wanna... Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. I'm gonna load him first. You don't got any objections. What's in here? Get him on a horse. We can get I'm out of here before the buzzers show up. Okay, let's go. Let's give you another go, girl. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. 
the fighting and the killing. Still think we should have screwed this guy over and taken his money and then still taken him in. You could use that five thousand dollars right now. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old Rove. If you say so. See you around, partner. <sighs> Build the barn already, or is you fuckers did this without me? Holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at dancing school has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Oh, God. Our is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking idiots. John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! Oh dear. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except 
Try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Oh. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. We can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? Are they cooking him? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 oh. Behind you! No, fucking, I wanted to f <laughs> I meant to shoot. Oh my god. Here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Shit. Got him? Because here come the rest of them. Quick. There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on. Down that gully.
think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Ah, I can't, I can't hit my back. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Get back up. We need to get him home. Why do I need to get on my horse? We're here. Ah, really? You good. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Hey. Where? Right. Let's get you down. Let me see. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him out. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Oh my god, his pants. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, we all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! <sighs> there we are, back together again. Well, that will be it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.